dear students today we can learn how to determine the resistivity of a wire this is the first experiment which we are going to do in our syllabus so the first experiment you know that this is the experiment here you can see to determine the resistivity of a wire by plotting a graph for potential difference versus current so this experiment today we are going to do for that you know what is resistivity resistivity the equation we learned that it is r a divided by l so here where r is the resistance of the wire this is the resistance of the wire and a is the area of cross section of the wire area of cross section l is the length of the wire so today first we can see how we can find the resistance of this wire okay so for that we are using these all devices you can see we are using the principle you know that ohm's law by using ohm's law we can find the resistance you know what is ohm's law v is proportional to i v equal to i r so r equal to v over i so here we can find out the voltage and current by dividing this you can get the resistance so for that you can see these all devices and first we can familiarize with this this is called battery eliminator or which is what is the use of this battery eliminator which is converting ac power supply to dc you know that this wire is connected to the ac power supply which is converting to dc the process we are calling rectification anyway which we will you will learn later and also you can see it is a variable dc source i mean when i am rotating this you can see that if this pointer is here the knob is here it is providing two volt this red color is the positive part and the black is the negative so when it is switched on you can see that now it is two volt which is providing when i am changing this the output which is giving four volt so we can change the output to dc volt so that is the use of this and this is the ammeter you know an ammeter which we are using to measure the current so it, which is written here a and this is the voltmeter which is measuring the voltage so this is the rheostat rheostat is a variable resistor so variable resistor means one wire we are connecting this side the other sec part of the wire we can connect here or here so the current is passing through this metal rod and which is come down you can see that and here through this resistance wire which is passing so if this is in this extreme end you can see that the current is passing and through this suppose one wire i connected here the current is passing through this much of resistance wire and so resistance is very high now i am turning this to sliding this to this extreme end you can see that the current is coming through this and directly it is coming so here the resistance is minimized so anyway it is a unknown variable resistor we don't know what the value which we are applying but you can see that it is varying okay so it's a variable resistor which is written rheostat so this is a key it is same as the function of a switch okay it is to switch on the circuit i mean open the circuit and close the circuit so these all are the connecting wires and our main these all are the connecting wires which we are using and the main one component which is the resistance wire where is the resistance wire one minute yeah yeah so this is a resistance wire actually this resistance wire i took it actually 50 cm length i measured by using the normal our roller scale i took a 15 50 cm so you can see here the length of the wire i took it is 50 cm that is 50 into 10 power of minus 2 meter so the length is already it is confirmed right now we can find first how to find the resistance to find the resistance we are using the ohm's law you see you can see the circuit here this circuit which we are using so here this is the battery battery means you know it is the eliminator which i showed and the key the key is this is the key you can see here this is the key and the rheostat rheostat is here you can see 
and this is the ammeter you know we i already told you so this is the voltmeter and the resistance wire this is the resistance wire this is the wire okay our aim is to find out the resistivity of this wire so let us do the experiment now so i am going to connect the circuits now first you can see first i am connecting this see the positive you can see here the positive part of the cell first i am connecting the positive part When uh, you are connecting the circuit, you make it tight because if they are in loose contact, which will give a you know wrong answer, it would, may not be correct. So then, this positive, you can see that this positive we are connecting to the positive part of the ammeter. So which is the ammeter? Ammeter is here. You can see. So we are connecting the the red color. You can see consider as positive. So here there is a hole. We can put it in it. can see that now this connection is over and you can see from here the negative part to we can connect to the positive part of the voltmeter so i am going to connect it can see that here we listen here please be here see this positive and negative parallelly we are connecting the resistance wire so this is the resistance wire which we need to connect it parallel to the voltmeter so the two connections are there here this side you can see one is the connection which is coming from the ammeter okay and you can see that the other end is connected here the parallel connection so one okay now you see this is connected parallel connection you can see that the voltmeter this resistance wire connected parallel to the voltmeter now you see here this connections until here i hope it's clear now from here now we reached here now with this from here we need to connect it to a rheostat you see this is a rheostat which i am going to connect here you see the rheostat so here we connected now one you can connect here or here no problem but here i am connecting now this side so you can see that one end is connected here now it is connected to a key you see the key the other end see connected so it is act like a switch now you say you can see that now circuit is open so we reach here now we are connecting to the negative part now see now our connection is over you can see here you can compare with this circuit you can compare with this circuit i repeat you see positive side of the cell this is a positive side of the cell connected to the positive of the ammeter positive of the ammeter negative to the voltmeter negative to the voltmeter and from the voltmeter a resistance wire is parallel connected parallel and the other end of the voltmeter connected to the rheostat connected to the rheostat from the rheostat connected to a switch or key and from the other end of the key connected to the negative part you see negative part 
Now let us see whether it is working or not. So for that I can connect the switch now and uh, it is in 2 volt. Now I just switched on it and I can just slide the rheostat. See the voltmeter and ammeter reading is varying. You see? You got it? Now we can take the voltmeter and ammeter reading by sliding this rheostat. You can keep a particular dist uh, I mean you know point. For example, the voltmeter you can hear, for example, is one. Now the voltmeter is showing one volt. You can measure what is the current in it. So you can measure what is the current in it. So here the current is 0.4. Sorry, 0.2. The current is 0.2. So here you can see that the current is 0.2 amps ampere. Okay. So the voltmeter and ammeter reading you can measure and you can write here in the column C. For example, here the voltmeter reading 0.5. First, we can keep it the voltmeter 0.5. See, voltmeter reading is 0.5. Then I can measure the current. So repeat this experiment by sliding this rheostat, okay, in different positions. You can keep the rheostat, change the rheostat position, and you take the voltmeter and ammeter reading. So you can find the resistance R equal to V over I. So in this way, you can find the resistance. So we, as per what we discussed, you can see that we found the resistance now. So then we can find the area of cross-section of this wire. So for that, we can find the area of cross-section of the by wire by using screw goods. You know, the last 11th standard, we learned how to take the readings by using screw goods. So, I can show you the tabular column of screw goods. You know that. This is pitch scale reading, head scale reading, PSR plus HSR, then PHR, PSR plus HSR into zero correction or least count. So, plus or minus zero correction. So, here we are getting this result and then you can find this here we know that area area of cross-sectional area of the wire is what pi r square so by using this we are finding the diameter of the wire this diameter by 2 we are getting the radius so this is the screw goes you are very familiar with this i hope now by using this we are finding the diameter of this wire this resistance wire we are finding the diameter of this resistance wire and then Okay, this uh, we are even finding the diameter of this resistance wire and divided by 2 you are getting the radius. So from this you can find out area pi r square. So now we can see that here this is rho is r into pi r square divided by L. R you can you already found it by using this Ohm's law circuit and pi r square by using screw goods. Length is already I told you it took 50 centimeter. From this we can find out resistivity is like so this is our experiment and by using this we can draw the voltage current graph also we are drawing so of course you can see that you know ohm's law v is proportional to i so you can see the graph the nature of the graph this is the graph you can get it the same type of graph so voltage and current and by using the slope of this graph you can find what it is resistance so from the graph also you can find the value of resistance so i hope today's experiment is very clear to you and uh, if any doubt you can contact the teacher okay see you so we can meet the with the next experiment